Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm coming to you with another video on text animation. I'm just having a lot of fun, you know, creating these text animations. So I'm gonna do just a few more of these probably um, that just show some of the fun that you can have with text animations. Today, what we are doing is we are looking at basically digitizing it. So like this right here, you see that it comes in and then it sort of, you can see it like pixelating out um, so it's like the pixels are getting less and less and then when it comes in the pixels get to a viewable sort of uh, Density and then they go back out the other way. So let's get started with this Basically, this is another really simple effect. All we're gonna be using is something called the mosaic effect And so to get there all you have to do is go to stylize and then down to mosaic click on it and then drag it into the composition of the graphic right here which is our text layer once you click on it you'll see that it, it starts off at 10 10 and this means that whatever it's on it's going to represent it by 10 by 10 so if we go into the media browser here and we drag in just this is uh, one of the last videos i created if i put the mosaic on here you see that it does the exact same thing it's going to draw it like pixels so if we increase one of these you slowly get more horizontal pixels and if you increase the other one the vertical ones then it comes back into normal view so that's basically how a computer works with pixels and that's why like 8-bit um, they used to have a lot bigger pixels and that's why when you play like uh, Super Mario Brothers number one or something like that it's very pixelated that's why they say that is because it has less pixels so that's what we're doing is we're mimicking the pixelation here when we are in here all we have to do is go up into the effect controls and then go down into the mosaic part we can just hide the text so it's a lot easier to see all of the controls right here this is our text graphic layer right here so what we can do is we're going to start it at basically this 10 by 10 ish um, something that is really really you know sort of abstract something you can't really tell something apart from then we're going to click both the animation uh, buttons right here move forward 10 or so frames however long you want this animation to be this one actually kind of works the longer you make it go so I'm actually maybe gonna go like a full second forward and then we're going to just drag these up until we get the text that we want and then the more you add to these the clear it'll become res like the clear it'll resolve so maybe like 500 by 400 you know kind of just move these around until you you like something and then if you click on this and you click the tilde key up here you can actually make it full screen and you can see it's still a little pixelated so maybe we want to add a little bit more into there but that is fine right now and you'll see that the animation is happening just like so and just like my previous two tutorials we need to mirror the animation on the outro side so if we just highlight these hit control c then control v move forward just a little bit on the timeline and do the exact same thing with the back ones highlight them control c control v or copy and paste if you want to use up here and now we have suddenly this effect coming in and this effect going out and what's neat about this one is this one the text can be placed anywhere on the screen and it'll work exactly the same as it's affecting the pixels and the graphics not a central point working out like the uh the sticker one did or something like that so that is basically this tutorial. Uh, it's really, really simple, but it's a nice, fun one to know and to know the mosaic effect because that's actually a pretty fun thing you can use in some of your videos for like even transitioning. You could have um, two pieces of footage together, have it go into the blocks and then kind of come out into the, the next one. I might actually make a tutorial on that. So that is basically it on this tutorial. If you got any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, go ahead and throw those in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos similar to this one, I make an Adobe video every other day. So hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, see ya.